Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Flying Trapeze Cafe. It's uh, supper show time, and this week we've got somebody who I think is incredibly talented. <laughs> incredibly talented. Anyway, I'd like you to do all the things you normally do when somebody who's incredibly talented comes along and give him a big round of applause. Captain Rock. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on your mark, get set. picking I ain't a hankering for no blueberry pie I ain't a hankering for no midnight rambling I got something else entirely on my mind I ain't a hankering for a house on a hill For no moonshine still I ain't a hankering For no home comfort whiskey I got something else Entirely on my mind Oh, Bob Reba <laughs> A lazy jail Oh, Bob Reba, a lazy jay. Oh, Bob Reba, a lazy jay. Don't ever let a lazy jay go astray. You want to learn how to use a coffee machine? It takes no. weeks of practice, you know, it really does. What, well, to make a good cut? Oh, yeah. yeah. Very, very delicate sort of uh, com combination of the coffee and then the milk. And, oh, that's the real tricky bit, the milk, you know, because you can sit there and go <laughs> froth away for hours and you end up with a soggy looking milk, you know. But once you get used to it, it's, uh, it's quite an art, you know. It's uh, an awfully long way from being a, a rock and roll entrepreneur to being a restaurateur. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what lured you into the food trade? Uh, well, I like eating. I've always liked eating. You know, uh, food's, food's good. I'm beginning to have some doubts about food, actually. <laughs> you almost give up eating when you're faced with so much food all the time. But I, I was pretty... I, I lost interest in, in sort of promoting, and that's all rock promotion anyway. And. Uh, so it's, to do, it's still to do with performance though, I think, because we do have performances here. I think that was a pretty important aspect of why I wanted to open a restaurant. I didn't want to open a restaurant, I wanted to open a, a fantastic nightclub, but here we are in Brunswick Street Fitzroy with a 50-seater restaurant because it uh, was out of the question, obviously, for an unemployed bum with no money to open a, a huge contemporary cabaret or something like that. You know? So we'll, we've opened this and it seems to be working. As far as the acts go, <coughs> you managed to keep a fairly uh, a constant supply of pretty fantastic people. Uh, do you find it difficult to get people that are prepared, firstly, to work in a place this size and, uh, and people that, that are going to cater for your clientele? Well, not so far, because we've only been open two or three months. And fortunately, I've been able to carry over some of my previous contacts as a music promoter and so on. And I've had some, I've had some really good luck. I've seen a couple of people doing little things who've like Captain Rock's an example, who I saw doing a concert, and he'd only ever done three or four performances, and knocked me out completely. And I, I did the number and walked up and said, uh, "Hey man, I've got a restaurant and all that stuff." You know, and I didn't know him before, but a lot of the other cases are the people I've known for a long time. I've got a magician who's worked here who I knew from years ago, and lots of things like that. But I can see it becoming more and more difficult as time goes on. Um, most of the people are doing it at the moment, obviously with a small restaurant I can't pay them what they deserve to a large extent, much as I'd like to, but they're doing it for a combination of fun and, and opportunity, I suppose, to a certain extent, because there's nothing else much like this. 
make you free for a ship full of booty, or, or, or. Ain't you hungry for a fair Bristol beauty, little Robin Redbreast? Ain't you hungry for a Billy Bones treasure? I got something else entirely on me mind, Jim Lad. War, buttery bum, ar, 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 please and Jay. When the sun is over the yard, ar, 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 please and Jay. He yo ho ho and a bottle of rum and a please and Jay. Don't ever let a lazy Jay go astray. Save it and keep it for a rainy day. <laughs> we had a, a Collins Street surgeon with a monocle and a one-piece silver Lurex jumpsuit on him the other night. Um, and he didn't eat his vegetables either. <laughs> um, about, or about half our people come from the area. Fitzroy's sort of gaining a new trendy middle class population. Ho hum. Um, and of course we do get our odd, odd friend from the people of the streets who live around here and we supply the odd cup of tea to. Um, but it's basically about half locals and half people that have heard about it. It sort of seems, the word seems to be spreading a bit, but we don't take bookings for sort of ones and twos because you sort of get these amazing phone calls from uh, Bear Morris. If you watch table for two at eight tonight, please. And I sort of, one lady, I said, where do you live? And she said, oh, South Yarra. And I said, oh, we don't take bookings from people who live in South Yarra. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong side of the river. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Would you like that cup of coffee now? Yes, please, yes. yeah. I'll teach you how to make it uh, after we've finished it. <laughs> this is my athletic number. gentlemen it's over it's like a, a love affair at the end of too many days and far too many nights or it's like a headache when your head is finally free or it's like a right secret <laughs> when no one's around it kind of <laughs> lingers about all comforting and familiar <laughs> and then it's gone the circus comes to town and then it comes to some other town and you, you meet and you drift away. But when it's over, it's over. Over here.
Stop. 